Welcome back everyone to another Weather at a Glance video. In today's forecast, we are going over our first preliminary winter forecast for the winter season of 2023. All coming up in just a bit. All right, now on our first slide, we're taking a look at our precipitation anomaly forecast map. And here off, we're going to start off in the northern region here. We currently have slightly below average conditions forecasted for the north here for the winter season. And this is due to the way our pattern is setting up. Now, we are headed into a an El Nino here, and we are expected to head into a stronger El Nino. We are kind of already in that El Nino territory, but it's weak right now, um, right where we are in the summer, the late month of July. But right now, we are expected to head into a stronger El Nino, and if that current projection is correct, we will likely see these type of conditions. So this forecast is based off of a stronger type of El Nino for the winter season. Now, continuing on, we see that much of New England and the Northeast is included in that slightly below average condition region there. And this kind of extends all the way for the entire northern United States, except for the farther northern area of the Northeast. That kind of stays about average due to the way that the polar jet stream sets up. Now, moving into our second region here, we are looking at below average conditions. And here, this is where you're going to notice those definitely below average areas. Um, here in the slightly below average, you won't, won't really notice too much of a change. Um, not really noticeable to the extreme fact, but here in the below average region, this is where you're going to notice that decrease. You're going to look out often and say, wow, it's a lot drier than I expected it was going to be than it usually was, you know, way back, let's say in 2020 or 2021, those years where we had a lot of snowfall. This year, we are expecting a lot of that precipitation to stay below average and um, it's kind of quite on the contrary to what we usually expect for winter, especially up in these northern areas. Now, moving on here down to our largest region, we have the slightly above average region. Now, this is a very, very large region. And this is due to the historical context and both the way that the pattern is setting up. So we are taking both of those factors into consideration here when we are presenting this forecast. But as you can see, slightly above average conditions for California, all the way up into Wyoming, we do see that historically measured slight increase in precipitation up there in Wyoming and then all the way down south of Tennessee a lot of the Tennessee area is going to stay average but here we move over into the mid-Atlantic some of those mid-Atlantic areas even all the way up to closer to DC we could see some slightly above average conditions with the way that the subtropical jet stream is setting up and the moisture is going to be heading into the southern United States now on our final region we are looking at that above average region here and this is where you can notice those definitely above average conditions as we talked about with the below, this is where you're going to notice those more extreme conditions. So a lot of heavier precipitation. Um, most of these areas are going to be pretty cold, obviously, because it's winter, um, especially up in the mountaintop. So a lot of snowfall, a lot of snowfall is expected for these areas this winter as of now. And we are looking at higher rates of snowfall, which we will cover on our snowfall anomaly forecast map coming up. All right. Now, in our second map here, we are looking at our temperature anomaly forecast map. And here we're going to start off in the southern United States, where we are looking at slightly below average conditions. Now, you may be thinking this paired up with slightly above average precipitation may lead to some, yes, potential snowfall. And for the northern areas here, and I'm talking about the northern side of the south, we are expecting some slightly above average snowfall conditions, which we will get into on our snowfall anomaly forecast map. But here you can see we are seeing slightly below average conditions. Nothing too crazy, nothing too noticeable, but we are expecting those slightly cooler conditions, maybe one to two degrees below average at times um, throughout the winter season. So nothing really too crazy, but we are expecting slightly cooler conditions for these areas, anywhere from California all the way over to the mid-Atlantic. Now headed over here down to the deep south, anywhere from southeastern Arizona all the way over to Florida, we are expecting below average temperatures. This is where you're going to notice these different conditions about uh, two to three to maybe even four to five degrees below average at times. We are expecting those largely cooler conditions to linger over here due to an active subtropical jet stream and a lot of precipitation that's going to move through this area as well. Now, moving on to the north here, we are expecting slightly above average conditions to affect much of the northern United States. Now, this is going to be paired with that drier precipitation pattern that we are expecting. Um, it's not going to be completely dry, but we do see warmer and dry conditions overall for these areas. So um, as you can see, nothing too crazy, slightly above average conditions. So maybe one to two degrees above average at times, but nothing that's going to be really, really warm during the winter. 
Now in our final region, this is where we're going to notice that warmth and those drier conditions. This is paired with that below average precipitation region. But as you can see, this above average temperature region here affects much of the cities up near Chicago, Detroit, Minneapolis. We see all of these areas in this above average temperature region. This is going to be a warmer winter for you guys this winter due to the type of pattern that we're setting up for El Nino. On our next slide, we're taking a look at our snowfall anomaly forecast map. And here's where things get exciting because when we think winter, we think snowfall. And a lot of people either like snowfall or they don't. It's kind of a 50-50 split a lot of the time. And whichever side you're on, we're going to see right now what you can expect so far from the projections that we see. Now, starting off here in the north, we see the lot of areas anywhere from northern Oregon all the way through the northern Great Plains down into the mid-Atlantic, the northern mid-Atlantic, that is. We see these areas being affected by this slightly below average snowfall region. And this isn't really going to be anything too crazy. I know I say that a lot, but I have to kind of put an emphasis on that. This isn't going to be anything really absurdly below average. This is going to be slightly below, so maybe two to five inches below average on your total snowfall accumulation for the year. So nothing really out of the ordinary, but we are expecting some slightly below average conditions due to the type of conditions we are seeing setting up for this winter. Now, moving on here to the north, we are expecting below average snowfall. This is where you're going to see a very noticeable decline in your snowfall accumulation for the entire season. And if you are a snowfall lover, this is kind of a region you don't want to be in because as of right now, it is looking like we're going to have a below average season for snowfall accumulation. All right, now moving on to the south, we are expecting slightly above average snowfall. So it depends if you see snowfall or if you don't see snowfall. A lot of these areas see snowfall at least one to two inches per season. But some of these areas towards the deeper south don't see any snowfall at all. And it really depends on what you're going to see this year. So this doesn't guarantee you're going to see snowfall this season. But what this does say is you have a chance at slightly above average snowfall, especially up here in the cooler areas of the higher elevations around the Appalachian Mountains and Smoky Mountains. So those areas could see a little slightly above average snowfall this winter towards the southern end of those mountain ranges. And that's really going to lead to a slight increase in snowfall, which depending on if you like snowfall or not, that may benefit you in the end. Now moving over here to the west, anywhere from Denver, Colorado, Oklahoma City, all the way over into northeastern California there, we see that these areas are expecting above average snowfall. So a lot of these areas are mountainous regions, and that's really going to help, again, if you have ski slopes out there or any of those areas, this is going to be a good year to do business. We're going to see a lot of those potentially high accumulations of snowfall at short periods of time come through these areas. You know, geography plays a very important role in this, but we also see that the overall conditions are suggesting above average snowfall for the annual accumulation this season. Now, moving on to our exciting overall forecast map here, we're going to start off in the warm and dry region to the north. Now, as the name suggests, these conditions are expected to stay warm and dry for much of your winter season. That's going to be your main decider for the season. A lot of warm and dry conditions, so not a lot of storminess and not really the typical winter you would see with the northern United States. Moving a little south, we're going to see on and off, and this also persists for much of the Ohio Valley and down into the Tennessee Valley here. We do see that the on and off region does suggest we could be a little bit between these two areas, so we could see a little bit of both. We could see some snowfall. We could see some drier periods. This is kind of a mixed boundary, kind of a battle zone per se, where you're going to see a lot of those conditions try to fight each other during this winter, so... It's really hard to say exactly what you're going to see, but you will see kind of a bit of everything this winter, depending on the type of pattern and the type of the way that the jet stream sets up this winter. We will see different setups for this area. Now, for the mountainous regions down here in the southwest, we are expecting a lot of mountain snow, and as the name suggests, a lot of snowfall for these mountainous regions. Now, again, as I said, for the ski slope business, this is definitely going to be a really good year to make a profit off of this year. We're going to see a lot of snowfall for these areas, I do suspect, and this is overall just going to be really nice. So if you live out in the Rockies or out in the Sierra Nevada area, somewhere around those areas, this is going to be a good year to kind of go check out that snowfall. Um, obviously, these areas see snowfall every year, but it depends on the type of season, and this year looks to be a good year for increased mountain snow. Now, down here around the entire southwest, we see cool and wet. Now, this name can be a little misleading because as many people think, you're going to see a lot of precipitation and tons of rain all the time. That's not what this means. This basically means that you have chances for precipitation 
more so than usual. And as we saw from the precipitation anomaly, we are expecting increased precipitation and even above average precipitation for these areas. So this doesn't mean you're going to see rain every day, every week. But we do see periods where you could see those larger systems move through that could bring rainfall to the southwest and kind of cool things off and keep it wet more so than it usually would be in other winters. Now here for the Great Plains, the kind of central area of the Great Plains here, we do see anywhere from Denver all the way down to a little west of Memphis and Arkansas up here through the northern Great Plains here. We do see big storm chances. Now this doesn't mean every single week you're going to have monster snowstorms moving through this area, but we do see at times, depending on how the jet stream sets up, we could see chances for big storms to set up across this area and move around down south up into the northeast. So this is kind of where you're going to see that originating spot. We're going to see a lot of that moisture come up from the Gulf. And these areas of low pressure could develop off of the Rockies here and move down throughout the southeast. So we're going to see kind of big storm setup over this area. Um, and that's why it's really saying that you have chances to see some big storm setups throughout this winter. Now, a little further south, we see a very large region here in red, a busy storm track. And this kind of just goes along with what I just said a minute ago, where we say that we're going to see a busy storm track moving from anywhere from the big storm chances area all the way up into the northeast. And this is going to kind of be taking a beating from that as well. Now, not everybody in this area is going to see snowfall. Not everybody in this area is going to see heavy storm systems move through, especially the further south you get down into Florida. But we do see a lot of storminess for this area, whether it be severe weather or whether it be snowfall at times, depending on how far north you go in this region, we do see the potential for larger storm tracks to come through here, and we could see persistent storminess across this region throughout this winter. Now, over here for the Appalachian Mountains and up into the northern Appalachians, we do see snowy conditions, and this goes along with that storm track as well. We do see these areas are expecting snowier conditions. Now, some of these areas are in that slightly below average precipitation, and that doesn't mean that you won't see snowfall, but that generally means that it may slow this effect a little bit. But for the most part, we're expecting snowy conditions for this region, especially in the higher elevations um, throughout the Appalachians and off of the Allegheny Plateau. We do see those areas getting pretty high levels of snowfall with these storm systems that come through. And overall, this is going to be a nice snow pattern that comes through. All right, now moving on to our final region here, we are looking at coastal storms defined in the pink region here. Now, this is pretty typical. If you live in this region, you know what I'm talking about. Every winter, we see those big coastal storms move through. Now, some of these storms could stay a little further inland, but as of the look of it now, we are expecting these storm tracks to take these storms out along the coast. And a lot of these areas could see some larger scale snowfall events. Even though we are expecting slightly below average precipitation, we are still expecting some of those events to lead to larger amounts of snowfall. We do also have to take into effect that coastal air and the fact that we're heading into a warmer pattern for the north, slightly warmer conditions. But as of right now, coastal storms, so a lot of this could be rain, but we could see some big snowfall chances as well, depending on how large scale those cold air masses are that move into the United States. All right, I want to thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you enjoyed the forecast, I would ask you to consider subscribing for more U.S. forecasts free of charge. And I would ask you to consider following the Weather at a Glance official Facebook page for more inside information and complimentary personal forecasts when you message me on my Facebook page. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.